your girl, and I'm in Mobbing with uh, this. So, what are you doing here? I'm a fashion designer, I'm a musician, and I've come to um, exhibit here at the DNA <laughs> showcasing. And um, it's just to network with people to be able to um, showcase what I have and to be able to um, just kind of get a feel of who wants what and what I can offer and where I can, you know, share and who can buy and, and what I can sell and, and just pushing the brand out there, you know? Okay, cool. So what is the name of your brand? The name of the brand is Lisa Gumbo. Like Lisa Gumbo, me, Lisa Gumbo. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, so do you have any um, associates who work with you? I've got employees who work with me. Okay. Cool. Um, so what kind of style is your, um, what kind of style is your, um, your clothes, yeah, your clothes, your brand? My fashion brand is a, has a very um, less is more um, sort of feel. Um, my aesthetic is very chic, it's elegant, it's sophisticated, it's uh, simple, it's uh, less is more, it's, it's easy, you know, it's fun, it's vibrant, it's colorful, it's, it's fresh. It has no um, age limit, it has no race limit, um, it, it just goes, you know. Sounds very good, like anybody could wear. Yeah, and I, that's what I like about some clothes, because some clothes, um, it's like for only certain people, it looks right on them, but and some people, it doesn't look right on them. But your clothes sounds like it, it would look good on anybody, no matter what you look like or how, are, how you are. Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay. It's um, one of my biggest things is to be able to have the simple edge but still be bold so you've got that boldness that oozes that inner confidence from within and and i think um, i'm a very four woman type of person so i love the way that women walk and and the way that they talk and the way that we present ourselves and the way that we feel and the way that we exude our energies so this is one of the things i play through the clothing because at the end of the day it's how you look and how you feel you know so it's a look good feel good um very very for the woman and, and I, I like to work in every woman's favor, you know? So it's not about size, it's not about height, it's about what looks right on you. I, I don't do trends, you know? So it's just about timeless, beautiful things. I, I just want people to look and feel good. I mean, okay. yeah. Cool. And um, is this your stuff that you've made? Unfortunately not, but the earrings are. <laughs> no, today is a cold day. I, I was freezing. I'm, I'm frozen. So yesterday I froze to death in my lovely cute dress and then today I decided to just keep it real and, you know, really stay warm, layered up. I've got like three layers here and three layers here and, and I feel good. I'm feeling good and warm. That's all that matters, you know? Okay, cool. Um, so what skills, school skills like reading and writing when you're doing your um, designing? What skills? School skills. Um, I'm not. Unfortunately, I didn't go to school for fashion. I'm a self-taught fashion designer. So I've literally, I modeled for about 15 years, and I think I spent a lot of my time backstage just learning the art of the of the industry. You know, I did a lot of things for the designers. I'd hold clothes for them. You know, I mean, what can you do behind the seat, behind the stage, waiting on your show? You know. So I learned a lot of um, bits and pieces from the backstage as a model, and I later on just decided to learn and develop what I want to do with the brand and the fashion. And I just learn every day. I'm in the school of life, learning every day. And um, do you still do modeling? No, unfortunately not. Cool. Um, so um, what tips would you give somebody who wanted to become a designer? I think that, you know, a fashion designer is a creative entity, and I think that you've got to just be true to yourself. You've got to work from your soul, like the truth from the inside out. And I think that you just got to create what you feel comes from here and then share it with the world and then eventually find a way to make sure that it, it converts or translates into income, you know? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that was, um, Izzy? Liz. Liz. Oh, yeah, Liz. And Gogo Media Girl.